Hey everyone, Corinne Henneberry here with the Red Carpet Report. Today we are at NBC Universal's 2016 press tour. How are you? Nice to meet you. How are you today? Let's start there. You know, I'm good. It's a busy day. It's, it's a busy day, but it's fantastic because it's the first opportunity we've had to really expose the show to, to the critics. The masses. Yes, and uh, you know, One step at a time. <laughs> yes. Tell us. I. I mean, your history, just in this industry, has gone so far. You are incredible. I have to just say that. Um, your energy to your work, your creativity is is beyond. I personally have a lot of friends that worked as stuntmen in a lot of your shows. Wow. Uh, specifically, The Walking Dead, and their transformation into zombies to really bring your vision to life is impeccable. Uh, tell me a little bit about where that creative spark may have come from. You know, I, I've been, I've been a, an inveterate reader of science fiction, fantasy, horror, and comic books from the time that I was a child. And it allowed me to explore things beyond our world. And, uh, you know, I was always, I was small. I wore glasses. I was considered an intellectual. Um, I wasn't particularly popular. And I was able to escape into these fantastic worlds without limitation. And the great thing now is that we've got the culture with Comic Cons, and it's cool being a nerd, it's cool being a geek. And that's not what I had when I was growing up. So we can all, we can all really not only immerse, but but celebrate these worlds and our passion. It truly was. I was at Comic-Con and I have to say the biggest and most pivotal vision I have from that experience are those walking around yeah. as the walking and, dead. And I, and I have to say, you know, people say to me, like other people in my industry, oh my God, do you have to go to Comic-Con this year? I said, even if I wasn't on a panel, I would love to come here. These are my people. Yes. These are people who love embrace and celebrate what it is we do and are as passionate about the work, as passionate about the stories and the characters as we are. And that's what recharges me and you know it's a lot of them. It's it is. It is and, and it's our opportunity to connect with them. And with now that experience being beyond the moon <laughs> now with falling water and it, I love the idea of really the interconnectedness of, is it three humans that have their dreams merged and they're all connected or disconnected in some type of way. That seems like a very realistic vision for me, yet exposed. I mean, I have to say that to see it through is going to be just phenomenal. Uh, we're, we're really excited because the central conceit is imagine that each of us is dreaming a separate tile, but there's a larger mosaic. And some people can not only leave their tile and enter ours, but they can see the whole mosaic. And, you know, and, and, and if you were one of those people with that special skill, um, you could have enormous power. Um, and you'd have a power for good, but you could also have a power for evil. And uh, so that's how you use it. It is. It is. And you know, with great power comes great responsibility, right? That's it. Well, you have that power, <laughs> and you are a superhuman in your own right. So, can all done, guys? Please be sure to like by giving us a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and be sure to tell me what favorite show you're looking forward to.